you those youtube influencers and bloggers we have not asked you what you have made out of the views you talking your nonsense and your rubbish we have all these stupid foolish young boys who you know are blogging and blogging on malicious grounds hear me because you are digging your graves i'm telling you anybody that is speaking against the archbishop nicholas duncan williams on the peril of his son daniel and all the blogging that kind of stupidity that you people are blogging do you know what it means to have a child and raise a child to that point can you bear the cross the archbishop is bearing you have already cursed the rest of your days I'm telling you do you know what it means to be a pastor a man of God do you know what it means to be blessing people and you yourself are not blessed in a particular way do you know what it feels do you know what it means to be standing and working for the Lord and the people you have been commissioned and assigned to stand and insult and talk nonsense against you I want to stand here as a gatekeeper of this nation and of the body of Christ anybody that have raised their mouth against the archbishop or anybody working for God and they didn't treat they, they don't know how to raise their own children they don't stop your nonsense before you die like a goat you are speaking against somebody that have walked the road if you give back to a child without legs and eyes you are taking a grief for yourself I call the body of Christ to stand with the archbishop in prayer be very careful what you say stay out of it if you want a blessing there are things that you should never raise your mouth to talk especially when you don't understand it if they have not been social media will you people have get the opportunity to be talking rubbish and nonsense young people will do him you can make a statement without insult you can you can make your point make your point without bringing acrimonious degradation to anybody i'm talking to the wise only and this is why this young generation die like just like that 21 dead 31 dead i stand here to bring you into alignment I woke up on Friday, the day came telling me somebody was on the phone for a long time. Credit got finished. She called back again, loading it, and said that she has disrespected you online. She had come to apologize. I said, I don't even know the person. I have not met the person. As long as I'm concerned, you never disrespect. She said, but things are going bad for me. And I, I want Papa to, the day was saying, I, she says that I should find a place in the house and my heart is already full. Full of the word of God. Find a place in my heart to forgive. I said, I don't know what you are talking about. Whatever she did, I think the Lord has forgiven. It's a key. You can, you can. 
I will never be in any car without brake. Be very careful. Can you imagine a plane on the runway without a brake? Just in case it does not take off. Do you can you imagine where it's going? Be careful. Be very careful. Many people are suffering from the past curses. What you did in the past, things you said in the past, things you orchestrated and aided and abetted in the past have come hunting you. Be careful. Be very careful. And let me quickly address this and I close. When all these young men who sing secular music perform their events with tickets and they go home, they pour their money down and people count it for them. Nobody says anything. When government Place a desk at Kotoka Airport and took hundred dollars from every passenger that arrived at Kotoka. Nobody asked government where did that money go and how much did you made out of that money? Nobody. So far, we have not asked government how much has Ile been made. We have not asked that. I was watching the public account committee, you know, report last week. In 2020, Sika will be at the 2020. Listen, I see I'm going to jump am I? Nobody has asked that. We have not asked the chief of staff. How many land cruisers she has imported to this nation for the past two years? We have not asked that. We have not asked how much does it cost a Kufuado's convoy to travel in a month? We have not asked that. We have not asked how much fuel are given to presidential staffers and government functionaries which some are extended to Legon girls, Takrade girls, uh, UCC girls, Central University girls, Presbyterian University girls. We are not asked that. PRDA Gazem. Pastor Richard was at Kolibu. One night at the ICU, I was paying 4000 He stayed there for one month, 30 days, four times three checking. Without medication. Medication costed me over 70000 added to the other bill. We have not asked you how much Kolibu makes. Ubiye Misai. You, those youtube influencers and bloggers we have not asked you what you have made out of the views you talking your nonsense and your rubbish we have how much did youtube give you now you're quite a 31st one maybe when you scan it, yeah, 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 you scan. Your missile will be answered. Aye, aye, ni chie. Aye, aye, ni ka. Will be answered. Aye, ni amba you sika. What audacity do you have? Whatsoever to come and be asking what you know we we doing with money and how we got money. We sika here. I want to know. Don't bring your madness to the church. Don't bring your madness to the church. Don't bring your madness to the church. Or we will bring your names here. 
and call the God of the Bible to eliminate you from the surface of the earth miraculously and supernaturally don't bring your madness to the church don't bring your madness to the church there are even there are churches in this country we can count offerings for four days for Sunday offering no more problem is our suddenly in yes we don't deserve money get ready this year we will make money let's pray for this country this country is sick mushare 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 yeyari and say we'll be a cause one higher it's a sickness it's a sickness 